Yeah, I figured, knowing you. Oh, well. So, let me see, where were we? We need some music. And damn it, I keep forgetting. I'm gonna put a note right now so I don't forget it for next time. I need to look for some cool temple music. Ambiance music. Look for cool temple ambiance music. There you go. Hopefully I won't forget for next week. And in the meantime, what music should I put? I have a suggestion. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm not sure I want to hear it. Uh... Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, let's see, how was this one? I think this one was pretty cool. Yeah, I think I used that one uh, last week. Okay, let's get started. Last week on Survivor. <laughs> um, so, last week you finally entered the temple proper. And you saw a long balcony. Wait, I thought it was the Amber Temple, not the temple proper. Like you, you entered. Re just, you really entered into the, the temple. My God, these people! What should I do with you? All right. Um, you see a long balcony and a huge chamber. Um, in the dark, only Tehanu can see a statue that appears to be at the end of it, but he can't seem to to be able to discern um, details of uh, of its visage. Uh, you move down the stairs, and you're immediately hit by a fireball. Um, Tehanu said that it came from the statue, and as Ozzy races towards it, followed by Iron, you start getting hit by multiple powerful enemies. Things look bleak, and Tehanu yells to retreat, and then he makes sure there are no enemies on the eastern corridor, and then you all race back towards the western corridor and start attacking the flame skulls that were hiding there. Seeing how everyone was hurt, um, Tehanu closed the doors, and you realize that the flame skulls are not following you. So you tend to your wounds and then you open those doors again and destroy the flame skulls. Knowing that they could regenerate, Ozzy put all of their remains into a secret chamber that you found earlier. Um, this way you make sure that they won't bother you again. You find a few un um, uninteresting rooms, some stairs. Um, you did find one room that looked interesting, as it had a replica of the Ravenloft castle, but you couldn't discern any of its features. But you did find a chest with old and half-rotten blueprints of the castle, which will definitely come in handy uh, in the future. Ozzy also discovers a secret compartment to that chest, in which he finds a Tome of Understanding. He tries to hand it over to Iron, and then a small fight broke out between the party, uh, which was hilarious, by the way. Um, but Iron did uh, end up getting the, um, the Tome of Understanding. Making your way further into the temple, you find a um, dinner table, uh, seemingly an illusion, but as he does, does notice a pitcher that he grabs, causing the illusion of the feast to disappear and seven spreckle ap apparitions to materialize that target Ozzy as he was the one holding uh, onto the pitcher. He falls to their attacks but was healed by Iron before he succumbed to his wounds. Iron also managed to destroy most of the spectres with the help of her deity, and then Tehanu and Amnon finished off the rest. Um, after that, I think that's actually exactly where we left off. I don't think he did anything after that. Apart discovered that the picture was really cool. Uh, magical item. Alright. What do you guys want to it do? It was an Instagram worthy picture. What? I don't get the reference. <laughs> it was a great picture. Oh my god. Okay. Pitch, picture instead of picture. Yeah. If you prefer, I can just call it an ooer, and then nobody can understand what it is. But you can't make stupid puns <laughs> that way. All right. Um, so yeah, what do you guys uh, want to do? Um, there is no food on that freaking table. That's so disappointing. Yeah, all the food disappeared. It's just a plain old table with some old chairs that. That don't seem as uh, good as before. Yeah, but now we have a urn of bottomless wine. 
Yeah. An ewer, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud would have been happy with that. Mm -hmm. Um, we still have the ewer, right? Yeah, you held on to it. Okay, so uh, what is? I I'm I'm looking over. Uh, myself, at least, I'm pretty, pretty uh, rough and tumbled. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys want to take a little rest. I don't remember. Did we take? Uh, oh, you did I not. I think Amnon. I think Amnon identified that you were. I don't think you uh, you took a rest because I don't see any um, head dice rolls. We took a short rest, didn't we? Like. After going into the courtyard and being damaged a bunch, we like went retreated you back did, to the and took yes. a short rest there. Yeah, but okay. he didn't after but we the have flames after, calls yeah. and after the that's, spectre. That's right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> all right. So I'll do this. I will just out for now, and so that we don't have to take another rest. I will just use twenty points of my. Okay. I mean, we could rest and just drink some wine. It's not going to take much time of the game fine. tonight. It puts me at 52 of 78. I'm good. All right. So where do you guys want to go? Like, we we have this door here, which I think we can do. Open the courtyard, I think, yeah. We're going to get spammed by fireball, fireballs again. But uh, uh, the yeah. big question is if we will be able to cross the ledge. Yeah. When did we get attacked by the blades, though? Or by the blade of the, the, the fireballs. Was it when we like walked up and down the stairs? It seemed like every time we crossed the stairs, it was it would like fire a fireball at us. I don't know if it was like once a turn or something. I don't really. Remember. I don't know if the statue fires at stuff in front of it, or if it also can target three sixty. Yeah, there well, seems to be something on its face. So whether that's like an actual creature hur hurling fireballs at us on its turn, like when it when it can. I, I would tend to think that it's not, I because remember the 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 face of the statue is like super dark, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some like bastard in there that like is somehow hanging out inside the statue, like shoot. Yeah, that's that's what it could be. Like an inglorious bastard, like Brad. Probably. I mean, the yeah. idea, like, because I I can't imagine, I at least. I don't know of a statue that can just freely cast fireballs over and over and over without. You know. If I may remind you, it didn't only cast fireballs. What a, uh, well, I'm sorry. I was very confused because I couldn't tell the difference between what it was shooting at us and what the the flaming skulls over there. Yeah, isn't that a band? A what? The flaming skulls. Flame skulls. <laughs> flame skull. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about. Are you sure band. you're not thinking of the talking heads? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Oh. Um. I mean, either we try to cross that ledge, or we can go down the stairs that we saw earlier. Well, the issue. I So my concern is if we, obviously if we go down the stairs, we're going to have to contend with like either the statue or whatever is inside the statue, the way, like we, inside the head, shooting. We, we can pretend that we're having a short rest while we're debating this whole issue in game. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Just saying. Well, I mean, there's one way to find out. Uh, I'm going to open this door. Okay. Okay, well. Does anything shoot at me? Um, nothing seems to be shooting at you right now. I'm going to back away a little bit as he does this. Is uh, can I like so this looks really cracked and rubbly? Yeah, do I get a sense of 
so you have this black it's a black marble balcony um, that overhangs the northwest corner of the temple the floor of which lies 30 feet below nearly half of the balcony has fallen away and obvious cracks have formed near its ragged edge would you like me to tiptoe over this thing while tied to a rope uh, that you hold or something and then yeah that see works. if the thing collapses and if I get attacked by a fireball since I can tank some damage if it happens sure worst case scenario I get to run all the way around again and uh, get shot by only one thing this time okay and I would suggest while you're doing that like <laughs> you also have the best sight of all of us mm -hmm. in the dark so to try to see like I know that it's dark at the head but try to see like so the thing is if if, if it's the statue that's one thing if there's someone I'm, I'm guessing that like it there isn't a line of sight from from the this region of the statue to over here like this area so see if something kind of pokes out because that might help us determine what in the hell is in there I could also try to lasso a rope onto this thing and to kind of <laughs> to kind of like uh, rappel to this thing. This thing being the what? statue? Yeah, the head of statue. He, he well, I don't to... know that that's a good idea because what if what's in there is like gross? I mean, we already know it can cast a bunch of spells. Gross, like, might... like what? Like a big caterpillar? Okay, I don't like know. A big, like, a, like a big pile of goo? A slime? I don't know. <laughs> I I'm know, guessing uh, that while you say that, you pick your nose and fling it at the Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I tie a rope around Tahanu's waist. Okay. And as he's walking, I'm going to feed him slack. But not much. I'm going to like keep it so that it's mostly taut. Okay. I'm so not going to infringe his movement. Okay, so you're holding onto the um, the uh, the rope, and Hanu is going onto the balcony. Hello. Okay. Um. So you step onto the balcony. <laughs> well, unless you have a healer, um, unless you have a cleric, um, <laughs> it's it's creaking. It doesn't seem to be very stable. Um, but yeah, okay. you can choose to keep going. Yeah, why not? What yeah. could possibly go wrong? Um, your weight is 257, which is actually enough for the balcony to start crumbling under your feet. Jump away, jump away. And I guess I'm gonna... dropping I... the entire two, uh, the entire, um, um, 30 feet. No, because I have a rope tied off to him. Yes. So, uh, I... And with your strength, you are able to hold on to him. Uh, so I guess like... As he is so currently dangling about 10 feet <laughs> uh, below. He's not okay, taking any damage. Mind, I'm, I'm kind of just kind of slamming my feet into the wall and then I'll just climb back up yeah so what i'm gonna do is i will come over here and basically like lay on my back and wedge my feet against the wall mm -hmm. so that like i am basically like a like a like a lever like yeah, you yeah. can't like i can't get pulled through and no matter how much he pulls i'm not going anywhere yeah okay. so i'm just wedged and so he now has a rope to climb up Sure, it's fine. With, with your twenty on strength uh, and his weight, I, I consider that you're strong enough to um, to hold on. The opposite would have been surprising. Yeah. And I will assume I am able to to climb that thing. So. Yeah. Um, and I didn't get shot during that time. Um, you did not. Okay. Well. Damn freaking door. Okay. Um, so let's just assume I'm back on the ledge, I guess. 
Um, what is this table made out of? I'm sorry. Uh, what? Is it uh, bolted think... down? <laughs> you want to uh, make a bridge? Yeah, it's a good idea. Let let me check if there's anything about it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, it doesn't. It does it say that have... the table is real, um, but it doesn't say that it's you know made by uh, whatever. So uh, I would assume it's a very old uh, mahogany table um, that is heavy but not bolted in any way. I mean, we could try to, you know, tie a rope to the door on the other end, blah, 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 and then put the table well, as a, some sort of bridge, but that's kind of over-engineering it versus just going the whole way around. Well, it, I mean, it looked like there was a door right around here. Yeah, but there's one on the other side as well. And the other side is not as damaged, as far okay. as I can see. I kind of have an I I have kind of a crazy idea. Sure. Throw the rogue at the door and see what happens. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a uh, great idea. <laughs> if, it kind of is. No, here's my idea. So this this whole area is gone, correct? Yeah, most of it just crumbled down. Okay, if we turn the table sideways, so it's the so it's this way. You want to turn the table on them? <laughs> no, 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 no. So the table would be like here, right? Okay. We can then tie a rope to it and climb down. And we can cuz my thing is I don't want to I don't want to get in front of this thing again. Right? You don't necessarily have to. I mean, I explored the the around this room and you just have to go around on the mezzanine and then go through the corridor which is set up basically the same way as here. And on the other hand, you have a platform that is apparently not crumbling. And I didn't see any. No! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I can't. It's, are... it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll remove them. Is the is the measuring tool accurate? Um, we can consider it accurate, yeah. Because well, it's, it's an imperial unit, so it can't be accurate. <laughs> well, no. The reason I say that is these squares, ordinarily, we would fill a square, right? Uh, but it looks like you have to move twice. No, I... It's 10 feet per square. That's why. So, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. 120 feet is this. So, if we get... All right, so, we can go around if you want. I'm not sure the statue even has the range if you just stay on the mezzanine. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's kind of easier than trying to set up an IKEA table onto midair. It's not IKEA, okay. but yeah, it's it's your choice. What do you and guys want to do? The stair, the, the, there's the staircase in the corridor that we just came from, so there's that too. Like All right. The staircase Decision time. Uh, what do you do? Ozzy's plan or Tahanu's plan? Anyone wants to vote? Doesn't really matter to me. Let's just do Jahadu's plan. I just don't see how the physics would work to set up a table like this from one side only. So, anyhow. It's just so the table doesn't fall through the door, basically. That's why he wants it sideways. Uh, oh yeah, well, he wanted to rappel down the. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. There's. Uh, I would recommend we just go the long way around if we want okay. to get through. That's fine. So let's do that. Okay. All right, let's run south. So go ahead. Move. Uh, I'll take care of moving Iron and Esmeralda. Uh, I don't know, but I am going to guess. Yeah, Iron, uh, Ozzy, you don't have access to Iron's sheet. So I'll I do. Uh, not sheet, but token. Uh, so I'll give you that if you want to move her or something at some point. Um, there you go. Is it just me or the map is lagging? or? 
Yeah. Whoa! Well, I don't know why she moves she's... like that. What? Well, uh, uh, actually, I kind of moved people a little too fast. Um, you get onto the, the, the balcony, right? Um, nothing happens. You don't seem to be getting attacked, all right? Um, as you pass through... Uh, Azzy, I'll just bring you back, as well as Amnon and Esmeralda. Uh, oops. Um, as you pass... Um, uh, as you pass through here, uh, you can see a door to, to the south. And as you pass through this opening, you can see the outside. Um, and uh, some small arrow slits with stairs going back. This look, uh, uh, going out. So this looks like the actual entrance that you uh, you didn't go through when entering. Um, yeah, those are the, the traps that we should have avoided. But we ended up taking uh, just as much damage as, as if we went through those traps. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that's all I wanted to say at this time. Okay. Uh, where do you want to go? You want to keep going? Okay. All right. So you enter this room. Um, this room is featureless, featureless except for a rough-edged... 10 foot diameter circular hole in the floor to the east and empty torch sconces along the walls. Double doors of amber stand open to the north and west and single a single closed door lies just south of the western, western set of double doors. So there's just this one little door here and there's this uh, gaping hole into the ground. I'm suspecting that the door here just has some more flaming skull monsters types there to ambush whoever is coming through the temple. Can I inspect the door? Um, yeah. Uh, do investigation. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks like a amber door that doesn't seem to be trapped. Pretty much like every other door you've seen so far. If you're going to, gonna, oh, I suggest I, I would open it stealthily and go and preemptive attack whatever is in there because I suspect there's going to be some flaming skulls. Okay. I'll uh, sneak can fully you... peek, and if there is something, then I'll just slowly close the door and back it. Try okay. not to arise suspicion. Can you all roll in, um, stealth checks for me? Uh, and I'll do Esmeralda. Esmeralda just stumbled. Um, just sneezed. Yeah. Whoa, How the iron. hell does Iron get a 20 Actually, on her stealth Because she's... It's called I randomness. Um, yeah, she she's, disadvantaged, though? Yeah, she's she's in full plate, so she gets the 5. Oh, yeah, she gets the 5. And Ozzy, you get the 9. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, uh, just a quick okay. peek. So you peek into that room, and you see shattered bits of wood cover the floor of this frigid, 20-foot square room. I was wrong about this room. There's nothing in here. From the looks of it, um, it looks like it's a guard's bunk, uh, like a guard's chamber, and these were like old bunks that just got destroyed by time and rot. There's nothing to overturn, nothing to look in. Uh, do an investigation check. Um, you don't find anything. Uh, you look through the, uh, the the rubble, but it just seems like an empty old room. Eh, oh well. Shall we keep moving? Sure. You see... Uh, something, Ozzy, as you see some light start to spill out from within that hole. Okay. Hole? Yeah, just like some dim light starting to slowly seem to rise from the hole there. Can I look down the hole? Um, yeah. Don't stare into the light. You don't need a perception check. Uh, 
um, the light seems to be green in nature and slowly floating up. Please roll yeah, it's ship. the flaming skull. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jesus. All right. So I'm blasted. I'm blasting it. Can I immediately attack this thing? Yeah. As soon as it comes up, I'm gonna just. You do. You do get to see it arrive because of the light that it's uh, spilling out. Um, so I, I will give you uh, a bonus round on it. Uh, let me do some battle music. Did Is that I? Surprise? Did I even start? I didn't start an encounter. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do melee with it yet, not until it gets out. Uh, well, so I, I'll I'll give it to you head. as melee, Ozzy. Since you were looking down, uh, you can r basically ready an action yeah, to attack. That's, as I'm soon readying as my attack for yeah. when it comes out. Okay. So um, it both hit um, for you, uh, Amnon. And you deal 22 damage. Uh, okay. And as it as I'm as it dies, I'm going to try to bonus action tr or whatever you want to call it, reflex reaction. I'm gonna try to grab the skull bits so it doesn't fall back down. The okay. Um, you you probably because it's it's kind of a little far. Uh, I'm allowing you the melee on it, but uh, if you try to grab it, we'll, we'll try and do something. We'll see if you well, fall into the hole or not. That, well, that's maybe, the risk. Well, so, best case, so how about this? Instead of actually taking my attack, it's a great sword, right? Yeah, yeah. So instead of taking a slash, I hit it with the flat end like a like a cricket bat. And, <laughs> and try. Okay. It, goes, uh, it, it would be like it would be a shove, I think, which is the uh, one of the actions that you can take. Um, okay, so it's a shove. Doesn't do damage. Uh, That's fine. I'm saying, get rid of my damage. I just take the twenty-seven to hit, and just consider it like a, a flat, like smack, so that it's gonna go like a ping pong ball against the wall. Over here. Yeah, but notice it, there are some notches all over the place on, on the wall, so it goes bing, 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 like a pinball. Okay, it's not a pinball. <laughs> uh, uh, and a shove is able to shove um, enemies five feet. Um, okay, so you do hit it, and you are able to shove it five feet away from you right there. Um, I would shove it this way. You. Okay, I'll allow it. Uh, I think it's usually opposite direction, but I, I guess it. It's fine. Um, eh. Sure. Um, you do see at the same time other um, other lights coming up, and please roll initiative as we are going to enter combat with one of them uh, heavily damaged. Only three of them. Let me roll for Esmeralda. Jeez. Wow. Iron, I'm sorry. Natural 20. Now it's a natural 1, Iron. Oh, yeah, she can't see her roll, so we should probably be telling her. Everything. I rolled a 1 on your initiative, Iron. That's okay. Okay. All right. So um, we're all there. This one is going to go first, and it's going to... Oh god, what's it gonna do? It's it's just gonna First of all, it's going to use its movement to finish climbing up the wall uh, the hole and get to basically the surface. And then it's going to fire a fireball um, right in the middle of you guys. Uh, so basically everyone gets caught in the fireball. Um, dexterity saving throw from everyone, please. I'll do Esmeralda. Um, some people get plus three, I believe. Um, that would be Esmeralda and Tehanu. Iron fails. Amnon. Esmeralda succeeds. Jeez. Ozzy 
fails with natural 1. Tehanu, please dexterity save. Is there like no music? Should be some music. Okay. Uh, Tehanu. Tehanu. Jeff. Uh, he's out. The fireball already okay. killed him. Uh, somebody wants to roll for him? Or should I just go ahead and do it? I think he just dropped internet connection. Pull up another window, one sec. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's see. Amnon. So I rolled 34 on the damage. So that would be for Amnon one fourth of that, basically, right? Because you yeah. saved and then you have. Uh, so it's seven damage, yeah. right? 31? Is that what you said? 31? It's 34. So it would be eight oh, okay, damage. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ozzy, you get health because of your fire resistance, right? And yeah, 34 divided by 2, 2 is. Yeah, 17. Um, Tehanu takes 17, and I'll do that on his character sheet. I can't change Iron's sheet. Yeah, I know. Because you don't own it. Uh, I'll do Iron's sheet. It's, uh, she saved, right? No, she failed. So it's 34 for her. That's the issue when you have high AC. Sometimes it's, you know, dexterity save intros. Um, or you take the damage. Okay. And... Wow. All right. Um, I think everyone got their stuff. I changed Iron's and Tehanu's. Esmeralda, I didn't change hers yet. So she saved, so it's 17 damage as well. Okay. Um, Second flame skull is going to guess what? Fireball as well. Um, so another deck save from everybody. This one is the one that got hit, by the way. Azi, you already have your plus three into it, right? Yeah, I think. So. I think so. Yeah. Uh, it is a save, actually. Uh, no need for the plus to, to add stuff to it. Uh, you do save. Um, redo to Hanu, please. One second. Mm -hmm. Iron fails again. Esmeralda, with her plus three given from you, she saves again and let me just redo the damage here it's only 26 this time um, so Tehanu let me just go Tehanu gets a save so it's 26 that would be 13 for him Iron that was a fail so she gets the 26 and she drops as she drops unconscious um, Esmeralda, she, did I roll, yeah, I rolled for her, and with your, with your plus three, she saves, so it's 13, and so we are missing Amnon, I think. Oh, do I have to do another one? Yeah, there were two fireballs. So you save, and that's going to be a uh, 7. No, wait. Uh, 6. What was, the, what was the first number? Okay. 26. It was 26. So unless I'm okay. mistaken, 26 gives you 6, yep. yes. Yep, that's right. All right. Um, Dehanu's turn. Oh, just back just in time. Freaking internet. All oh, right. welcome All back. Right. So uh, to catch you up, there were two fireballs. 
you succeeded on both, I believe. Yeah, you succeeded on both, but you still took um, quite a bit of damage. I think 30 damage total. Uh, that's gonna leave uh, oh, and Damn. Iron just dropped unconscious. What? How? Because she failed her saves on both of the fireballs, and it dealt like 60 damage plus uh, to her, so that was enough to drop her. Okay, so uh, was there one that, that was damaged already, or...? The one that was damaged is the one up north here. Yeah. And it's the one that just had a turn. This one hasn't had a turn, the one right in front of you. So that was one turn, that was like one attack? That was... Um, the first Flame Skull had a fireball, the second Flame Skull had a fireball, and then it's uh -huh. your turn. Okay. This um, one hasn't had a turn yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the one that's damaged. Uh, short sword. Hopefully that'll kill it. It's Is that the one that hasn't had a turn yet? It's your choice, but I will remind you two things. You have your assassinate or whatever that gives you, I think, advantage if they haven't had a turn yet. And the one in uh, front of you hasn't had a turn and is within five feet, so you get sneak attack. You can get sneak attack on the one. Yeah, right here. I was going to say, get rid of the one that hasn't had a turn yet. Okay. But your... um, yeah, because uh, that one is probably going to do firewall just... when it's its turn. But we don't, we don't have surprise, right? You don't have surprise, no. Okay. So uh, I'm going to roll a short sword with advantage. It hits. And you get your sneak attack. So you deal... Let me see. Uh, I believe it was resistant to piercing. Oh, it's not... It's a short sword. It's also piercing. <laughs> no, that's slashing. It says piercing. Let me see. Short sword should be slashing technically. But why is it saying piercing? Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Let me check. Equipment. Short sword. It says piercing for the short sword. Damage type is piercing. Well, I mean, if I swing it, it like, <laughs> if I use it not to poke, does it count? <laughs> uh, no, it's piercing damage. Because otherwise I will use a different... Uh, other weapons don't have. Yeah, it's piercing damage. damage. It's not an error on D and D All right, so uh, it does. Um, I would use a crowbar. Twenty-one damage. Uh, that is not entirely twenty-one. But okay, um, Ozzy's turn. Unless you want to do. Wait, wait, wait. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. gonna do an action surge because I need to finish this one. Okay, <laughs> action surge then. And so I'm going to do the same damn thing. With your what advantage what? still. Yeah, I was sure this sword, short sword was slashing. Yeah, me too, for some reason, but apparently uh, it's this not. Makes, I mean, this makes no sense. I'm also surprised, yeah. Uh, it does hit, and you deal uh, another 17 damage to it, which end up being 8. Okay, now it's Ozzy's turn. Ozzy, what do you do? Uh, I'm thinking. Um, this is so frustrating. Hmm, I wonder if... Is a, does Action Surge give you a second action, or it gives you a second turn? It's me an additional action, as far as I know, no? Yeah, it's an additional action on your turn, so you don't get the sneak attack the second time. What? <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Uh, well, sure, I get the sneak attack because I'm near Ozzy. Yeah, but sneak attack, it's one per turn. Ah! And this one says it gives you an extra action on your turn. It doesn't say it gives you a second turn. Right? Okay, now this is doubly frustrating. I know. Rules are rules, man. Rules are made to be broken. Whoops. 
Oops, I removed it from got that. This. Oh, I have no choice. I'm going to try to move to iron. Uh, just ignore this, and I can go to seven. Um, okay, it's going to take a opportunity attack on you. Okay. Um, at disadvantage because it can only do a um, ranged attack, and it's a ten, so it doesn't hit. It shows uh, fire I, your way. I lay on hands iron for the remaining 20 okay. of my... Okay, I'll heal her uh, with 20, right? 25. 25. Okay, cool. Iron opens her eyes. Uh, she's happy to see your face. All right, Esmeralda, what is she going to do? Um, I'm gonna play Esmeralda and let me see. I feel like she'll probably want to try. Um, it's either gonna be a magic missile. Or maybe me a lightning bolt. Uh, can she do a lightning bolt that hits all three of them? Yeah, I think she can do that. Okay, so she's going to move here and then do a lightning bolt on them. So they do a dexterity save. And cool, they are not immune to that. Let me see dexterity save. Fail, fail, and fail. She does 39 damage of lightning, which destroys all this one. Not all of them. This one almost dies. It looks cracked, but it's not dead yet. And this one is showing signs of damage. Wait. So one of the new skulls took the damage from Tehanu, um, which was less, and an additional 39 in this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the thing is, it's also resistant to lightning. But she would have known that from before. She hadn't done that before on that. I thought Iron did. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, she I think it's still did. Like 18 damage is still a lot, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. 19, yeah. whatever it is. But 18 to, well, 19 to 3 of them is still going to be... Uh, yeah, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't kill the one that didn't have a turn yet. And it's going to throw another fireball at you guys. Does that count as a spell? It is. Can I counterspell it? Yes. What's um? Can you show me the counterspell, please? If it's a level 5 or lower, it automatically fails. Oh yeah, it's third level. So uh, it just lost its turn. You use your reaction, and you uh, counter the fireball. Cool. Phew. Yeah, phew. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, your turn. All right. Uh, which one was weak again? This, this one, one looks really damaged. Yes. And, like, it's like on its last limbs, like yes. legs kind of thing? OK, mm -hmm. I'll direct one of my beams. OK. Towards that one. Uh, it one. hits, and it's going to be enough to kill it. Nice. I think it had like four left. It had six left. So, yeah. And, okay. and then the, the second, second one, one the to one. the other one, Spike which also nice hits. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it deals 13 damage. It's not resistant to force, so... 
cool. Almost nothing is, which is great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I it think it's kind of why they chose force. Too. Yeah. yeah. All right, Iron. What is she gonna want to do? I'm gonna cast cure wounds at level five. Okay. Mask your wounds. Whoa. Mask your wounds at level five. Okay. Breaking good. at the big spells. Uh, let me see. It's, uh, ah, I can do it. People. You can do it. You're home. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, good. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's character sheet. <laughs> You're all lost in her character sheet, huh? I She has so many more spells than me. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Uh, uh, it wasn't... Not... So, 23 to everybody. Yeah, it, it was an okay, okay rule. Yeah. I mean, 3d8. I get 30. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do people. get 30, and everybody else gets 23. I'll take care of Esmeralda's HP. So I have HP. 25 health before that heal, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was up to date. Um, so it's 23 healing to Esmeralda. And... Okay, good. Uh, that ends your turn. Now, this Flame Skull's turn, the last one standing, it is going to... Uh, it's going to cast. It's going to cast just because it's it sounds fun. It's going to cast blur. And you see this skull's body, well, it's the, the skull basically uh, start to blur and shift and waver um, to all of you. So for the next minute, any creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against it. Um... Yeah, geez. Cool. It, it does what again? Blur. So now it's like a blurred skull with blurred flames. No, no, no. no. I know what shimmering. is the uh, disadvantage on attacks against it. Okay. All right, Tahano. We can still hit it. Yeah. Hmm. I am thinking... Since there is no ally nearby, I cannot make it into a double advantage to offset the disadvantage. Uh, God, you damn, you wouldn't you can afraid. never get sneak attack if you have disadvantage. You you can't. Uh, yeah, but uh, I could actually use. One actually, no. If you have an ally next, an to you. huh? I thought you get sneak attack if you have an ally next to you. Not if you have disadvantage on the roll. But I could actually create an advantage which would cancel out the disadvantage. Yes. Yes. But I would still need an ally nearby. Exactly. Which I don't. Exactly. So this is super frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, um, just do what you have to do, man. I, I okay. I'm gonna try an attack. Uh, before you tell me the result, I will tell you what comes out of it. Okay. Um, just give me a sec. This is super annoying because I can't use the rapier properly. I can't use the short sword properly, and any damn other weapon I have <laughs> doesn't have the proper properties. Ah. Oh. Yeah, life is unfair. All yeah, right. Totally. Okay, so a just hit, dude. Um, or just fail. <laughs> and I'm going to. Okay, I'm gonna try my luck. I'm, go I'm gonna. Use make it into a precision attack with uh, a maneuver. So I have to roll one d8 to add that to the it, hit. If it's a natural one, which means that a natural one always fails regardless of the number. Oh, you can't augment the number. You could, but natural one always fails. Already. Yeah, just like a natural twenty. If you roll a twenty and it gives you like twenty-three, but the AC is like thirty. It still hits because the natural twenty always hits. 
A natural one always fails. What a weird mechanic. Okay, well then I'm just <laughs> failing this thing. Yeah, well you you failed you failed critically and you actually hurt yourself. Uh, so you I take five damage. My... <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. All right, Ozzy, your turn. So Tehanu <laughs> spent so much time trying to optimize his attack that he ended up injuring himself. Himself. I am now <laughs> in flanking it, so I get straight. Um, I'm I'm just gonna move you here. You're still flanking, but you're not in the hole, so. Okay. So you you did cancel the disadvantage. Um, it hits, and it's gonna be enough to kill it. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm gonna gather all three sets of remains. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Uh, I would say that you can gather one of them. The right, other two would be would have fallen. Into this hole? How big? How deep is this hole going down? Um, you can Let's look. Find out. Sorry, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna bring the remains. Is there in here? Yeah. So, a... so, so uh, I was saying that two of them were above the hole, so the their the skull fell into the hole. One of them was not above the hole, so you can gather one of their remains. Couldn't someone use Mage Hand to pick them up? Yeah, how far down is the hole? Okay, so Amnon looks through the hole, and um, let me check If you need how some light, down. I can use some cantrip. Um, let's see, the hole is... So you can see a roughly hewn shaft that descends 20 feet, and then breaks into what seems to be a room... And then it's so it's about a ten foot drop from there uh, to the, the to the floor. So it's about thirty feet down. Can I see? Uh, I should be able to see with my dark vision. Yes. The uh, the guys. So I'm going to use my mage hand to scoop them up. Okay. So it's going to take you like a few minutes to try and gather as much as you can. But using mage hand, you are able to recover the uh, the. Uh, Cool. And then I'll, I'll bring them over here to this room and then throw them in there. Um, is there like a long enough piece of stick that we can use that maybe part of like a broken table or something from this room that we can use to bar the door shut? Um, I thought you wanted to make a brochette. Uh, I would say it's mostly rotten, so you wouldn't be able to find something that would be... Usable. They don't have hands. How are they? Yeah, open they're the door? too dumb to open doors. Yeah. Just close the door. Um, Ozzy, know. can can you do a perception check for me as well, please? Okay. Um, with that perception, as you are rummaging through that room and trying to like place them all in a corner and all of that, you do notice something weird about the uh, west wall over here. Um, a closer inspection, it looks like the wall could be pushed um, open to reveal some sort of passage to the other side. I will do Push that. Open. Okay. You do find a secret uh, door that opens into another chamber. Wait, where is the where is the door? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Which you totally missed earlier. Yeah, it did. Well, shit. Let's make sure they don't go on there so we can just snipe us once they revive. Can I check out? Can I have a look in this room real quick? Do a spell check. Poke my head in. Oh, boy. Ooh. All right. So you poke your heading. Um, you see a very similar uh, room to this one, uh, but there's no like debris on the floor. You see two arrow slits that are carved into the west wall um, of this 10-foot-high, 20-foot square room. Uh, slumped in the northeast corner is a skeleton wearing a blue wizard's robe 
and from your vantage point, you can see him clutching a wand to his to its chest. I'm gonna go there and see what and investigate both his robe and his wand if his robe is intact. I'm following him in there. Okay, uh, yes, is mine. I found it. it. Came to me. <laughs> um, so it looks like a corpse of a really. It's been there for a long time. The the. The robe is falling into pieces, it's rotten, it's really old, it doesn't seem to be magical, because you know that magical items uh, usually uh, resist don't rot. time Yeah, much better. Um, you do find a wand that seems to... it definitely seems to be magical, because it still looks quite pristine. Um, you don't know what it does, though. I'm going to pocket it. Cool. I'm going to watch him pocket it. So, I'm do, gonna do a perceptually pocket it. Do a perception check, and I'm not do a sleight of hand check instead of deception. Uh, I'm not gonna sleight of hand. Yeah, but that's what it is. So perception, Ozzy, to see if you can see him. Um, okay, so you you didn't see him pocket the the one, so you don't know that he has it. Please erase that from your memory. Erase what from my memory? Okay. All right. So, uh, what do you guys want to do next? There's just an old dead guy in there, guys. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. And there's no dead elf with a scimitar. No, uh, no I scimitars. Regret not stealing that scimitar. I told. I wanted to do it and I totally forgot. What scimitar? What scimitar? Uh, Rahadin's scimitar. Ah, uh, yeah. This would have all been really handy just now. Yeah, probably would have. All right. Um, I'm going to assume that you want to close back that wall because you're trying uh -huh. to trap the, the. Yeah, for trapping the things in okay. here. Yeah. Just all right. Put them in there and get the fuck out. I have like an old quarter staff in my bags for some reason. I could maybe give maybe use that to bar the door. I don't know if it's important to bar it or not, but better safe than sorry, right? If you feel that it needs to be barred, um, you can you can figure out a way to use the quarter staff to barricade the door. Sure. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to right. gonna move Ozzy out of the door and close it and lock it. Cool. Uh, where to next, guys? Uh, what do you want to do? I feel like that last fight is taking a toll on us. <laughs> If you want to do a short rest, now would be a good time. Yeah, it might be, but I'm not sure how good uh, of a area this is, because this hole, so this hole looks like it's just open to the floor below us, right? Like there's a room beneath us? Yeah, that's what it looks like. How thick is the floor here? The, it's about it's like 10 tw feet. 20 feet. Thick? Yeah. Holy jeez. Yeah, it's a pretty big. The, it's like the, it's like the, it's almost like the um, the ceiling, the the walls, the mountain itself was made of amber, and the whole temple was carved out of the mountain mm -hmm. itself. Okay, so that's I have why a question. it's that thick. Yeah. How long would it take for me to bring that table all the way over here and flip it upside down to block? Uh, it, considering that it's a uh, old, huge table, uh, it would be quite a lot of work. I mean, if you really want to do it, I'd ball. allow it, but I'm not sure if it's going to be, uh... uh I mean, it, it, the, like the wall is ten feet wide, and you, you know that the table itself is five feet wide, so it wouldn't oh, even yeah. cover it, so... That's a really big latrine. Yeah. Oh my god, you just discovered the giant's toilet. It does look yeah, like... It was obvious to me these were the Turkish toilets of the place. If you yep. give me uh, like a 10 minutes, I can, uh, I can cast a spell over this thing that lets us know if anything comes up of it. Okay, you can ritual cast the uh, alarm, I assume, right? Yeah. If the others agree with that. If you guys don't mind. 
As long as everybody gets their short rest. Well, yeah, are we going to take a short rest here? Are we able to close this, these doors over here? Do want to just open and close? Yeah, uh, you can close them. Uh, sure. And, and then, then like, graphically, kinda, like, it remains, but you can close it. Yeah, first. yeah. Yeah, just making sure. Uh, okay, well, I'll uh, take 10 minutes then to cast right. Alarm over this. Okay, 10 minutes pass. You cast Alarm. This area is protected mentally. You would get a signal if anything tries to come through it or anything like yeah, that. Anything other than us, and I only want it to be a mental uh, thing for me, not an audible one. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you or, also all take yeah, a short yeah. rest if you want to heal up or anything like that. Um, I am going to make Esmeralda uh, heal up a little bit. Uh, by the way, her character sheet, she did not have any spells used. I know, and... because I can't do that. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I I am using her um, lightning bolt that she used last week, right? Uh, she did use that. Uh, I'm not reminded me, or Azzy, um, and plus the one that she used today. So uh, I don't think she used anything else, so no, should be fine. I, I, yeah. I tried to do fireball or firebolt, whatever, and realized that was mm -hmm. not the best approach. Yeah, you did firebolt, and then you just used your uh, weapons. Okay, so she is going to rule this. How, how much does she need? She needs... Uh, 17. So. I, uh, and I took this, I uh, did the second win thing just before the short rest. I just forgot to roll it. Okay. Uh, roll and it. She, is, is she, she's a wizard, right? So she can use, oh, she can also use second wind because she's oh, also a fighter. And she's going to use Arcane Recovery to actually recover one of her third spell slots. Oh, um, and... Yeah, she's gonna do that. Cool. Cool, so she recovered her third spell slot. Um, and only has one used. And she is back to full health as well. And one hour has passed, and you guys are, uh, you know, eating cucumber sandwiches. Uh, How do I message you. the DM on this app? At DM or at, at GM. Hi. He likes to know what the wand is. That was me, not Azzy. Um. You're both Ozzy, so it's kind of weird. Okay. Can I cast Alarm on this door? Um, Can I have two of them running at the same time? Let me check. You need an alarm system. Let me check. Well, uh, there's these dudes here, so... so I want to make sure alarm. that in case they like, wake up. But you never know. What if someone comes and like opens the door for them? Oh, well, they'll get killed. That's what... Well, what if it's someone who's friendly to the to the skulls? Yeah, it doesn't say that the the spell ends if you yeah. cast it another time or whatever. So yes, you can do that. Okay. <laughs> and you can set, spell, please. And you can set it to have a different ringtone so you can know which one's which. You can plug it to if this and then that. Ha have you been trying to rest as well? Because you're spending no, this will, twenty this will minutes be after. This will be after the after the rest. The first one I did before the short rest. This one will be after the short rest. Yeah, but rest. I mean, the this others might... have been spending one hour to rest. You are spending 20 minutes of that casting a spell, so you wouldn't be able to rest at the same time. We take an thought, hour. I mean, yeah. If everyone's okay with me taking an hour and 20 minutes. Like, I wanted to do the alarm thingy before we started doing the rest, and then and then do this one as we prepare to leave this area. Okay. I personally think it's overkill, but that's just me. If he wants to have all these chimes going off in his head, just fine with me. Doesn't make a difference. All right. Uh, it's done. 
short rest is finished. Uh, what else you guys want to do now? And Esmeralda, I'm just gonna do because she likes to do this thing when she, whenever she's resting or has some free time. She's going to do a little investigation check, uh, but she doesn't find anything interesting. All right, people ready to roll north. Now what? Open the door. Open the door. Okay. So you see here, um, a glazed amber covers the wall, um, the walls of this 20 foot wide, 70 foot long arch corridor. The amber doors at both ends of the hall stand open. A closed door is in the middle of the east wall and three arrow slits are cut into the wall across from it. Cracks in the black marble floor run the length of the hall. You have no idea what created these cracks, but yeah, it's all the way to the end and both doors are open and you have a little door right here. Guys, I just had an idea of, okay, this, this floor might or might not collapse. We haven't explored the stairs on the left wing. But my guess is that maybe those stairs actually lead to this wing from the underground. Maybe they don't. Yeah, I imagine there's a lower level to this. The stairs go down, then there's this whole thingy that goes down. It's okay. probably we a can hole. always try the rope thing again. Yeah, I can actually carry one half of the rope, uh, I think, up to 60 feet with me. Uh, only 30 actually, feet. So, oh, you could maybe tie the rope to the doors on the other hand or something like that. And we basically have like, a telegraph. Yeah, I can only do it 30 feet, though, actually. Okay. So not as far as I thought, unfortunately. So well, that idea is kind of shot. But if we have like one rope tied to like one person and then a bunch of us hold on to it kind of thing, I feel like that would give us enough of wiggle room. Could the rope be tied to one of the slit things? Like, does it have bars or anything? Or otherwise, the door here. And then we use the rope to like remove part of our weight to not make a floor collapse. And then get to the half. When we get to the middle, we tie another rope to the other end. That's just a crazy idea. A quick question to Iron. Are you keeping your cantrip light always, like, perpetually alive whenever it dies out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You've got unlimited AA batteries? Mm -hmm. It's a cantrip, so she can cast it every six seconds, but it lasts one hour, so, you know. No big deal. So, okay, what do we do about this corridor? Who's the lightest of us? Who? Me? I don't know. Is it? Oh, There's no, another probably. <coughs> or you. Uh, Who? Good question. But Esmeralda, I... I'm a thick dragon boy. I'm, I'm certainly not the lightest. I don't know where to see that information from me. I filled it out somewhere, but... Uh, if you go to description, you would see your uh, size, height, and weight. Um, and in equipment, it will tell you the weight uh, that you have carried. Yeah, I'm fat. I'm 108. Yeah. Uh, in my previously taken notes, when you had entered the castle, I had marked you as... Um, let me see. Ozzy, 347 pounds. Amnon... Jesus. Yeah, that includes, well, you know, um, his gear and everything. armor. But I didn't update it for plate armor, to be honest. Because that was before you entered the castle. Um, Amnon, 265. Tehanu, 257. Iron, 285. And Esmeralda, 249. Ozzy and Iron are probably a little higher now with the plate mail. Let me see. Uh, Ozzy is 147, so it's he's about 25 pounds more than before. And Iron is probably the same. 
Uh, Iron is more than that. Uh, she is 60 pounds, 65 pounds more than before. Because of the plate mail, which is 65 pounds, and I think Ozzy was, uh, he exchanged. Uh, he doesn't have his shield, right? No, he still has it. But he got the plate, but I guess he removed his chain mail or something. Oh, so probably why he lost some mm. some weight as well. I thought it was exercise. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, but yeah, that's kind of your your weight. Um, the the closest are Esmeralda and Tehanu around two fifty two fifty seven. Right, can, I'm, can I just move so I can see? Sure. Uh, Maybe Esmeralda could do a perception check on that floor. Sure, if you ask her nicely. Hey, Amy, will you kind of be kind enough to have a look at this floor? Yeah, of course. For you, anything. Uh, I'll do uh, perception and then an investigation for her. Wow. Can we have iron roll for her, please? <laughs> iron roll's way better for her. Uh, right, that's true. Iron uh, can do the rolls for Esmeralda. But I already rolled those, so I'll take those. Um, so she's not able to see anything specifically like from this distance. But investigating the surrounding area, she is, especially with that natural 20, um, she is able to notice that those cracks on the floor seem to be coming from multiple, uh, what looks like impact points. Like something heavy impacted multiple times over time on this floor and is what causes or was caused uh, those cracks um, she's, oh, she'd happened. also be able to tell you that you know this is a 20 foot uh, thick balcony well not balcony but like corridor um, and she has seen some pillars and things from uh, when you guys were downstairs so um, she is able to in to investigate and say that it's probably sturdy enough. Probably sturdy, but likely trapped. Yeah. Uh, she wouldn't know. What does the roof look like? Or the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is um, like a vaulted, uh, kind of. Um, it's about 10 foot high. Uh, it's, of course, uh, all made of amber. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I don't trust it. Should I just try to run through the corridor with a tied to a rope, and then if I get somehow knocked out, you can just pull me back. Again, what's mm. the worst that can happen? Yeah, <laughs> before you make it any. From my standpoint, the worst that can happen is spending thirty minutes in front of the door, wondering if you can cross it or not. <laughs> I say, go for it. Yeah, and the I have DM just hold gave it. you some information that it looks like it's dirty. So you don't waste too much time on it. <laughs> Alright. Um, so you do take the rope just in case and you walk out onto the thing. Um, it doesn't seem to move. And just for front Tehanu, you jump a little bit. And it seems to be quite solid. It's not gonna fall anytime soon. Doesn't look so like. I bring out the DDR dance pad and I do some moves on it. Everyone is impressed. <laughs> nice. All right. So I'm going to just come move forward and try to be checking for traps as I go. Okay. Uh, do investigation check. Uh, it's going to be crap. Uh... Ah. Okay. Okay. 
Um, you you can confirm those impact points, um, uh, but you don't find anything that seems to be a trap in the immediate vicinity. Um, so you can keep going further. Keep going. Should I just keep rolling that thing? What? Um, no, just one roll. All right. You arrive in front of, well, to to your right, um, there's a small amber door uh, leading to the east. And the corridor continues straight. I'm, like, going to hug the wall, I guess. Okay. Um, guys, should I open that door? Oops, so sorry, I clicked, time... I clicked it myself, I'm sorry. You what? I, I was clicking. I was clicking on the web page, and I clicked right where the door was and opened it. Oh, okay. I, it's fine. That was my bad. Sorry. Disregard what you saw. Um, the I rope is go. about its limit. You're at sixty feet now. It, it's actually okay. beyond the limit. So, well, you just have like I a really long tail. They can move in to here at least. So far, it seems to be safe. Yeah, it looks to be. So, oh, signaling them to come over here, and then uh, either I go to the end of the corridor, or we open that door. I can't see to the end of the corridor, so... Like, I, I can see the door. I mean, the corridor just keeps going straight, and there's a door, and then... And then I can see through that door that there's another room, a little bit like what we came from but I don't know what's around the corner of that room, but anyhow. Can, uh, never mind. Let's, let's open the door, maybe. So I will sneakily, slowly open that door. Okay, stealth check, please. Okay, very sneaky, sneaky. And you open the door, it doesn't seem to make a noise. Because you're very careful with it. I can see everything. Okay, do you get inside? Oh, I found the home cinema. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this chamber is brightly lit by red copper lanterns that hang from the ceiling. Um, the walls are sheeted in amber that has been shaped into bas-relief of wizards with spellbooks. Stairs to the north and south descend 20 feet to an obsidian le lectern, behind which a slab of black slate hangs from chains. Between the stairs are descending rows of red marble benches. This really is a home cinema. Did someone say spellbooks? Uh, uh yeah it's um the walls are sheeted um with in ember that has b that has been shaped into bas reliefs of wizards with spellbooks oh wizards with them oh, yeah it's like a no relief uh like um the walls are sculpted into that uh more magic stuff uh that might be interested by this Uh, let me check something real quick. Um, no, no, no. Can I use uh, maybe the wand, the wand of magic detection? Um, yeah, of, of course you can use it. Let me see what that gives see you. See if there's anything fancy about this room. It basically just casts detect magic. Yeah. All right, so you you notice a ping. A ping. Yeah, like you notice an aura of magical energy coming from behind the lectern. Behind this thing or this thing? Uh, behind this thing. Like, this thing oh. is a slab. Let me see. 
a slab of black slate that is hanging from chains from the ceiling. Okay. Guys, there's something magical in here. I'm going to approach it slowly. Okay. And so, as, you say, oh. as you arrive there... Okay, I'm going to move you here. And Ozzy, I'm going to move you here. Um, as you arrive there, you, you are able to spot someone that was hiding um, that you wouldn't have found um, without that magical aura basically uh, letting you home right towards him. Uh, but you do see someone hiding there. And this is... <laughs> please oh, geez. please is ignore the super spoilery quasit part of this title and the image. <laughs> um, oh, the quasit? You can't, we can't see the quasit? Yeah, it's uh, currently invisible and you have no idea that it's there, okay? Just FYI. But you do see this guy. Um, he's wearing scorched robes. Um, his hair is unkempt and it's half burned away. His face and arms are covered with blisters. Um, no, do an arcana check for me, please. Jesus. Okay. I'm not going to give you any extra information there. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do you have to have proficiency to be able to do an arcana check? Um, you need... Not necessarily, no. But you need to have at least some sort of knowledge of magic. Right? Uh, so if... Does uh, it look like his... You, his you, you can do fire. one if you want, Ozzy, because you're also standing there. Uh, Does it look like his burns came from being attacked by flaming skulls? Um, you don't really know because of the arcana check you did, but Ozzy would know that the answer to that question would be yes. <laughs> it looks like yeah, it's magical fire. Yeah, it looks like it's magical fire that uh, that is leaving. Uh, it's not that. just because his cooking sucks. No, it's not because of his cooking. Um, uh, let me see. Um, all right, so you discover him, uh, obviously, and he is super scared of you like oh my god you found me and he's like what do you want who are you what are you doing what are you doing here nothing nothing uh it doesn't look like nothing to me you're hiding behind this thing well, well yes i'm i'm hiding but i swear i i didn't steal anything that there's nothing to steal it's just that who are you Please. hiding from? Well, from that, of course. To those skulls with the green flames. Oh my god. They, they tried to kill me. Well. Yeah. That's uh, kind of what I do. Mm hmm. Uh, why, like, who are you? Why, why are you in here in the first place? Well, I'm hiding. Because I don't want to die. Yeah, but why are you in here hiding? Why did you come here? I didn't have much of a choice. It's stupid. Stupid. Who forced, I, I, who forced you to come here then? My master. His name is, was Jacarian. He was a wizard, and I was his apprentice. I came here with him, and then we were ambushed. I saw him burn to a crisp, and I just fled. I, I, I've been, I've been hiding here. Can't, I can't go back out there. Don't make How me. How long go. have you been hiding? I don't know. A week, a month. A week. You must be hungry. Is it, is it is it summer yet? Winter. I don't know. Uh, there's snow outside, but it's also we're on a mountain, so there's always snow outside. Oh, I don't know. Why did you and your master come to this place in the first in the first place? Why why are you asking me all this? I don't want any trouble. 
Well, everything we've met so far in here has like tried to kill us, so uh, I'm a little cautious. Yeah, I could say the same thing. Well, and you're also outnumbered, so. Do an intimidation <laughs> check. I was going to say persuasion check, but then you just said that, so do an intimidation check. <laughs> I, I could do it. I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, someone help me in um, intimidate this guy. Tehanu, you can try to boast or something and help Amnon, but Amnon does the check. Um, not very intimidating. Um, oh. So, <laughs> what do you want to yeah. know from this guy? What is so? Your you said your master brought you here, yeah? Yes. Is your why did your master want to come here? Well, he he wanted some kind of power he was seeking. I don't know. I, I'm just his apprentice. I was just following like, orders. Are you his, like, magical apprentice? Or are you his yes. sorcerer's apprentice? Uh, yes. I'm, 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 well, wizard, not sorcerer, but yes. yeah, a wizard, fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you're a wizard? Know some magic. Well, not not yet. Not fully. I, I do dabble in... Show us the spell. Uh, sure. Uh, and he... Not fireball. A... No, 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 no fire. No fire. Um, and he just does a little prestigious station for you. So, hmm. who is your master and where is he then? He's dead. He burnt. burnt to crisp. Um, you do remember seeing someone burn to a crisp in that corridor where the flame skulls were. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, did, did, uh, uh, didn't Amnon steal something from it? Mm, yeah, I have a staff, but I don't know if I want to show that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what, what, what do you want? Why are you here? What do you want with me? We're here for the same reason, man. We're here to seek out power so we can crush little weaklings such as yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down there, buddy! He just, like, froze, and he's just moving his eyes left and right right now. Um, um... We didn't, I, we didn't discuss playing good cop, bad cop. <laughs> um, uh... Well, uh... Th 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 this temple is, you know, it's it's a haven for for all sorts of knowledge. Th th there's plenty of knowledge to go around. Uh, just you seem to I, 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 know. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. I just I don't want to die. That's all. And how how, how far? Could, how, how could you have come in here not knowing what awaits you? I mean, surely you know the kind of dark powers that are in this temple. Well, yeah, but I didn't want to come here in the first place. But Jakarian, he just... If he tells me to do something, I have to do it. And, I mean, he, he was a powerful wizard. I didn't think that he would get killed so fast, so easily. And, oh my god. You sound like you don't really like your master. He he was or an you arrogant didn't. jerk who was just looking for power, never satisfied. He just wanted more and more power and be powerful. That's all he could talk about. Well, that's he uh, deserved what he got. Power is a so, noble cause. Wait, you 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 were his apprentice. Yes, I was. Do you so commonly apprentices will carry the belongings of their masters? Do you have any of your master's belongings that might help corroborate your story? He <laughs> um you can trust do, us. Do a persuasion check for me, please. Oh, come on! He looks at you and says, C Can you see my face? Does that not just 
<laughs> you holding on to his I'm, boils? I'm ruined. No one will ever want me again, and is that not proof enough? And you, you can still see it's red, like it's not fully healed yet. So I get next to Esmeralda and I say, like, I feel like this guy is hiding something from us. Do you, do you feel like he's being truthful or, like, I just whisper that to her, so that she can. Uh, all right, I'll do an insight you... check. Well, no, Iron, please I, do an I, insight check. I would for... rather do the insight. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, actually, so. Uh, for, you... Well, who is he talking to? To Esmeralda, right? Yeah. So do it for okay. Esmeralda, please. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so she is going to give that information to Tahanu, and she feels like um, he seems like a really scared dude. He's shaking, and he's really scared of us. Uh, but he doesn't seem to be 100%. Like, clearly, he's not just spilling all the beans. Like, he, he's using sort of his fright sometimes to just not answer questions, and she's able to notice that. Would it help if... Uh, I was kind of just whispering with her. Do you think it would help to frighten him, frighten him even more? She, she just shrugs. And FYI, the above 9,000 that I said earlier, that was just a joke to answer your... Uh, uh, the yeah. scouter say it. Um, and I didn't know actually I was uh, acting as Ms. Esmeralda because I had her selected with that now. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it was a mage level over 9,000, that mage wouldn't have been defeated by some skulls. Yeah, maybe. But you, you were quite a few people and you got almost defeated by those skulls. So... <laughs> Uh, merely flesh wounds. Yeah. For some of you. But wizards are known for being really weak, you know? Like their AC is usually like 11. So take that into consideration as well. So maybe he was strong, maybe he wasn't. But you can't really judge that based on the fact that he was down by flame skulls. All right. Um, back to some role playing. Um, where were we? I think the Amber Temple. All right, let's 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 uh, yeah, let's try to intimidate this guy. I think just go there and like, listen up, pal. Uh, I don't think you're telling us the whole truth here, and uh, we don't have that much patience with people who are not truthful. Okay. I'm. If he's gonna intimidate him, I'm gonna like use my thaumaturgy to like dim, like make the lights in here flicker, as if that we are very powerful and we're gonna. Uh, the the, the lights here are magical. I don't know if thaumaturgy would work on it, but I'll still allow it, uh, just because it sounds cool. <laughs> okay. so wait, is, is it normal intimidation or with advantage? Uh, with advantage, because he's helping. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Yeah. Um, you see him like retreat a little bit, and he's like, what, what, "I've answered all your questions. What, what do you want?" He's like, so, what, what? "He's like really scared now. It, it definitely seems to have had an effect on him." So, what, what was the question you were asking? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know what use he's going to be. And a reason for us not to kill him. Uh, you're asking him directly a reason to not kill him? Sure. Oh. Um, I... <laughs> I'm no threat to you. For why would you want to kill me? I haven't done anything. We don't know if you're lying. You could be a servant of Strahd here to spy on us. And you clearly made it all the way into this temple and survived without much of a scratch. Barely! Maybe a, few Maybe a few burns. I barely survived. And could be an illusion. You could be a master wizard trying to deceive us. 
Oh God, I, I'm not. I swear. Well, he's Look, uh, all he's I know is that the, the temple is full of forbidden knowledge. I didn't get far enough to get any of that, and there are. Look, there are flame skulls, okay? It's like these skulls, and it has like green flames all around it. Those are guarding the temple, and you have to be careful. And 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 what else? What else? Um, uh, there are some barbaric mountain folk. Uh, I've seen them. They, they sometimes use the temple for shelter, but um, that's all I know. I... Can I? Uh, can can we assume I was doing a sleight of hand? checking the guy like if he has anything on him or something while he was talking to Amnon and being scared sure shit do, do a sleight of hand check please mm -hmm. all right um let me see um Presumably, he doesn't notice. Uh, he doesn't notice, but... Uh, one second. You do feel, as you're trying to look through his uh, stuff, you do... Uh, feel like something bites you and you can you do a constitution save intro please interesting yeah uh normal one uh yes uh you get plus three because you're close to ozzy okay so but normal roll you know? yeah normal roll oh yeah okay. what so you take six uh Piercing damage. Six? You, yeah. You also take um, four... No, actually, you take ten damage uh, from piercing and another ten damage of poison. And you have just become poisoned for the next minute. Okay. This shit has just got real. I'm going to cast... Um, how is it called? Dancing Knights? No, it's Fairy Fire. You can cast Fairy Fire on the guy. Yeah, Vilnius. I mean, by the way, I don't know if it's you an area of effect. Anything, right? Uh, I think it's only for whatever you can see, right? No, I mean the whole point of this thing is that you can see invisible stuff. Uh, yeah, but you have to Nothing cast it on features. the person before. Before the they become invin invisible, yeah, like prevents them from going invisible. Fairy fire doesn't make it so you can see what's inside people's pockets. It doesn't uh, make it so you can see. Yeah, uh, let you me basically see. make them glow. So basically, if you cast fairy fire on him, he's just gonna glow. Like he's gonna have a, a weird little glow, and if he tries to turn mm -hmm. invisible, that glow will be. You'll see an outline of that glow that will persist. Not like. You don't get to instantly know like everything in his pockets and if you know, uh, what's in his bag. It's in twenty foot cube area of effect kind of thing, and it says any creature in the area where the spell is cast is outlined in light. If it fails a dexterity saving throw, that's yeah. My but the of it. Hmm. right, yeah, but, you're, you're right. I, I just I just read the the whole thing, and it's different from what I've read from the. Uh, uh, R.A. Salvatore books, uh, which is how I've imagined the the, the spell. But yes, um, you're right. Go ahead. Uh, you can do it if you want. Um, okay. And so you are targeting... The guy in general. Everyone, actually. You all have to do a dexterity save intro. Because you can't select who is affected by it. <laughs> Everyone do a dexterity save intro. <laughs> All right. And, and the DC on it is 14. 
Okay, so Esmeralda is now glowing uh, whatever color of light you want. Same for Amnon. And um, for Ozzy. Uh, nice. But that's this it. This is like Christmas. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> the guy who hasn't been affected by it. What? Yeah, he seems to have avoided... Like He saw you casting the spell and he moved just... In a way that he didn't get caught up in it. It seems. <laughs> okay, this guy's pissing me off. I'm just gonna slam him to the ground. Okay, do a grapple um, acrobatics check, I guess? Should be athletics. Uh, yeah, athletics, thanks. And I will. Um, let me see. All right, athletics is it's strength based, so I will do strength. Okay. Um, very easily, you slam the guy to the ground, and um, you please do a Constitution save intro as well, please. What? Again? Oh, wait, actually, um... Yes, again. This is escalating pretty quickly. Uh -huh. I think you're escalating it very quickly. I was like, I'm gonna say, you have the right to remain silent, and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, whoops, actually, I already rolled it. So, um, okay, you take four damage, and as you, you do this, um, you actually notice the quasit that was in the picture uh, appearing as he bites you. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And a few seconds later, he disappears again. <laughs> He really disappears, like he's gone, or he just... They go invisible. Yeah, it looks like he just went... I think invisible. I know what those are. Those are... I think I know what those are. Okay, yeah. okay but, but the guy is pinned to the ground, isn't he? Yeah, the guy, you he very easily pinned the guy to the ground, and he's screaming, and he's, like, worried, and... <laughs> what, if, what have I done? Please! You bitch me. I, 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 I didn't. I, I, I swear... Then what bit me? It's not Jim Jim. No. Jim it's, Jim? It's, it's, it's probably... Uh, and you can see him like he whistles and then the, the, the closet appears again. He's just my familiar. He He's a little overprotective, but please don't hurt me. I, I haven't done anything. I'm just trying to survive just eating vermin and whatever I can find and now you come and you're treating me like this I don't deserve this please ow, ow. I'm gonna pull Tanu <laughs> off of him okay uh, Tanu you let him pull you off yeah whatever I'm gonna go lick my wounds <laughs> and play with a dagger yeah, you lick your wounds. It, it tastes a little bit of like a poisonous thing. It's like yeah, it's very weird. You can uh, still no, feel nice the poison. Poison. Yeah. Oh wait, one sec. I think I have something for this. If I can find my hearthstone. I guess I'm just gonna go spit out the poison on the benches. Be right back. Okay. So, um, oh, never mind. what do you guys want to do? Uh, so, are you actually a wizard or are you a warlock? Because I think I've only seen warlocks who have pets like that. Um, I, I'm a mage. I'm an apprentice to a wizard. I, uh, it's just a familiar. Hmm. Not like any familiar I've ever seen. 
well, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. You know that. But yeah, usually not ones that turn invisible and can poison people. Uh, well, mine can. Mm -hmm. I know of other warlocks whose pets are pretty formidable themselves, too. Okay. Well. I don't trust this guy. I think we should just kill him. No, 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 don't. Please. Look, look, no, I'll, I'll... Maybe I could just... I can just kiss him, and then he gets to taste the poison. He <laughs> looks at you weird, like, <laughs> what? If, if you want to kiss me, but spare my life, sure. And he just puts his mouth, like, in a kissy motion towards you. But, like, just... closing his eyes, like, really not wait. liking it. <laughs> if if uh, Tahanu wants, we can all leave the room and give him a bit of a long time. He opens his eyes, he looks scared, he doesn't know where this is going. <laughs> uh, are, are you gonna let me go, please? Guys? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what this guy's gonna do. Just kind of looking at Aziron and Esmeralda. Uh, don't look at me. I have no intention to hurt anybody. Thank you. Uh, uh, letting him can... find his way back is probably going to kill him on his own. He doesn't seem very strong. And calm. All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Ozzy. As we're, still... we're deciding what we're going to do with this dude. Uh, we're missing the whole kiss of death godfather scene. Yeah, that was weird, dude. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? What do you want to get anyone? What do you want to do with him? And Amnon, your detect magic spell is just about to disappear. And um, you notice that whatever magical aura that you were seeing seems to be coming from his chest. Just gonna say that as it coming from just, coming from his what sorry his chest his chest yeah um, does that mean we have to rip his heart out are you wearing like an amulet or something he glances at you like frowning and says, um, can we see it yeah uh, and then you let me go mm, depending. Oh, yeah, God. sure. Let's say yes. We'll say yes. A look of relief on his face, and he tentatively takes it out, and it looks like a gold amulet that is shaped like an upside-down V that is hidden that ha that he had hidden under his robes. Uh, it looks like a what? very beautiful, exquisite design. Um, golden amulet. What does it do? Uh... It's. I don't know. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him it's, what it does. We're gonna it's, ask you a second time. Don't make us ask a third time. It's. I don't know. It. I, I found it here. Um, and I have a question. I, I, I'll. I'll sell it when I get back to town. How about? Uh, let me buy the amulet off of you. How much do you want? I'll give you two gold. Two gold. That's. I'm just kidding. I don't want to buy it. Listen, uh, do you have a spell book? Why? Because I'm curious. Well, um, I am a spellcaster. I do have a spell book, but you know, it, that that's kind of personal, you know? I know. I just want to take a look at it and see if there's any spells that you guys can swap each other Okay. Did you see, see Amnon's comment? Uh, let, oh, he can't talk anymore. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so you... Amnon, you, you ask him to basically give the amulet in exchange for his life. Um, I'm going to say, excuse me, 
We're not a bunch of thieves. No, that's not how we work. Uh, uh, you see Vilnius getting closer towards Ozzy. Uh, and he's like, uh, I am willing to sell it to you. Like, it's very beautiful. Uh, it's made of gold, and you can look at the design. It's really old, and it can fetch a pretty price. Um, if if you accompany me just outside and give me two fifty gold, I'd be happy to give it to you. And, and he, he's telling that to Ozzy because. He's thinking Ozzy's not gonna kill him. Please. I don't have two hundred fifty gold, my friend. Two hundred, then. I literally have fifty gold. That's everything I have. His face just falls, and it's like, uh, no, we're not gonna just kill him. And if, uh, like, oh God, I'm, I'm uh, gonna look at Amnon. I'm like, what's going on with you, man? You've been. Like super aggressive and and handsy with everything. What's what's your deal? I I understand. I thought he was pissed at seeing me getting bitten. I like how Amnon is doing like the silent treatment and just talking to you through his eyes, through his, uh, you know like burning look. <laughs> um. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Nope, it won't work. Uh, you're you're not poisoned anymore, Tehanu. It's been over a minute, so you're fine. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Vilnius is going to say, um, well, you have fifty gold. Maybe maybe your friends can can help. And I mean. This was gonna make me whole again. I can't. Just... We should ask him not. <laughs> well, hold on. I, I'm actually kind of interested in what's going on with Amnon. Like, why? Why are you all of a sudden super aggressive and super like steely? Like you're trying to get your hands on everything. Um, do an insight check, Ozzy. I'm bad at these. Yeah, you have no idea, and it just looks like he wants that amulet. So Vilnius is going to just tell you, Ozzy, um, your friend seems to really want it. Maybe, maybe you can convince him to pay pay for it. Do you have gold, Amnon, that you can help, and we can split it? <laughs> Vilnius is getting really close to Ozzy now. Okay, um... Uh, how about two, 200 gold? Okay, hold on a second. Vil... Vili... 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 Vilnius. I, do you have a way of detecting if he's under some sort of spell or if he has some sort of disease or curse or something like that? Because something is not right with this kid in the head. Uh, oh, um, what do I have? I can do lesser restoration on Mr. V. No, no, I'm talking about Amnon. No. Can I do a medicine check on Amnon? <laughs> um, do a medicine check, sure. Um, or, let me see. Wow. Yeah. Sure. You're such a good psychiatrist. <laughs> um, you you had such a high role. Uh, <laughs> uh, you you notice that his eyes look a little not quite right. It's like he does seem to. To have a lust in his eyes that you don't remember seeing him as having. I 
yeah, I don't, I don't, he doesn't seem to be himself. Can we try a couple things to fix it? Uh, I used my only greater restoration spell for the day. I can try lesser restoration. Uh, Just but... hit him with the greater one. And we're going to have to take a long rest. I can't until I, t I can only, that's like my only fifth level spell is a greater restoration. And I used it to heal us early. Oh. Try the lesser one, see if that does anything. Okay. Wait, do I have lesser restoration? Hold on. All right, so let me see. You want to do lesser restoration on uh, iron? You want to do, was it greater or, or lesser? What was? Well, I thought at level five I have greater restoration, but I don't see it. Maybe you don't have it prepared? I'm looking. Uh, that looks to be the case. Yeah, you don't have. It I prepared. also don't have. I have three spell slots that I did not fill up. Okay. Uh, by the way, DM, how how long are we taking doing this whole integ interrogatory thing? Can I, can I do right. like a? I'll link. I'll let me uh, just. I'll prepare it, but I won't actually use it because I know I'll have it for the next time. I obviously have already used my one spell, but I'll link you. What? It... You, you'll do what? Uh, you cut off at the I end. Should... Uh, that's it. Okay. Oh, uh, let me. See. But oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Do I have a? That's actually a bug I noticed in yesterday's game. It doesn't. If you have like bullet points, I have. It doesn't I have removed curse. That's Try weird. It. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, uh, I'm not. How are you reacting to her trying to cast a spell on you? Actually, Okay, so you do remove curse. Yep. Um, all right, how am I going to do this? Uh, do do an arcana check for me, please. I'm not proficient in arcana. It's okay. Ooh. Okay. It just means you don't get to add your proficiency bonus. You still exactly. rolled pretty high. Okay. Um, while doing the remove curse on him, you are able to attune to his soul or whatever, and you notice that he isn't cursed in any way, but he does seem to be attuned to an object that has somehow shifted his personality. And... Using your uh, deity and the power that it has given you, you're able to kind of redirect the, the, the remove curse towards that specific aspect of the attunement. Um, it's not a cursed object, but it kind of is. And so you're able to, um, to break the attunement of the object from Amnon. So he's not attuned anymore to his, um, uh, to the object. He knows which object I'm talking about. And that probably is going to make him lose that personality aspect that made him, um, that you, you don't really know what it was, but it seems to have had a negative effect on his personality. Um, and you were able to do something with that. Yay! Cool. After she does that, I'm going to be like, Amnon, what was that? Like, what was going on with you, man? And of course, you immediately notice the loss of attunement and the change in whatever oh. it was doing to you. So I'm going to, like, like, put my hand out. Like, let me see that thing. 
Oh no. I don't want it. I don't want to tune to it. No way, no how. Just I want. I, I don't think you need it. It was making you do crazy things. <laughs> are we destroying? Yeah, are we destroying another staff? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Gonna like. So you receive the staff of frost, um, which by the book is actually the first person to touch it. Uh, but I changed it in this game to be the, only for people to attune to it. So you're safe, Ozzy. Um, uh, but yeah, he hands over the staff of frost which you have found on the corpse of this guy's master, right? And right. you do remember um, that uh, he said that his master was just craving power all the time, and he was never satisfied oh. by it. Uh, and so just for giving you... Um, uh, so the, the staff the, the is small meta. The small meta is basically... Um, Imprinted on it, uh, on the staff, is a fragment of the dead wizard's personality. The first character who touches the staff gains the following flaw. I crave power above all else and will do anything to obtain more of it. This flaw trumps any conflicting personality trait. Okay. And that's so, also why he tried to steal the Tome of Understanding from Irene last session. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was weird. All right. So did this guy <laughs> see us pass the staff? Yeah. His eyes go wide. All right. And This thing is fucked up. We don't want this. And he, he's going uh, to say, oh, uh, how, how about this? Huh? You 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 don't have don't have money. Um, how about I? I take that fifty gold that you 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 said you had, and I give you this amulet in exchange for the staff, please. How about this? You want okay. this staff? Yes. You don't yes. even know anything about that amulet. Staff for the amulet, and we walk you to the front entrance. Do a persuasion check. He Get doesn't even fucked. blink. He grabs the staff and just hands the amulet to you. And you can see his eyes grow wide as he was craving this staff. He probably knows what it does since, you know, he's familiar with it. And he... I hand the amulet over to Amnon and be like, you, you don't probably remember why you want this thing, but you wanted it. There you but no, the guy <laughs> who has the staff wants the amulet back, so we're back to square one. He's not attuned to it yet, so... I want to get rid of this fine. guy, so <laughs> let's... All right, you're, uh, you're uh, taking him to the front door. All right. Uh, let's not. I'm half tempted to just put him in that room with the skulls. <laughs> oh, that would be so evil. <laughs> I'm a paladin. I can't do that. So yeah. I'm just saying, like, right. I won't do it. But... Uh, uh, let's not roleplay the whole thing. But um, you take him out. No, no issues. He seems to not even be paying attention to 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 anything around him. He's just mesmerized by the staff and. He seems to already be trying to attune to it as you're walking him towards the front door. Um, you haven't gone through the front door yet, but there's a small corridor, arrow slits on both sides, and then stairs towards the he, other. He, he can walk a shame at himself. Like, we're going to get him to, like, right around here. Uh-huh. And he can walk a shame right out the front door. Okay. So you push him on his back, and not even blinking, he's still trying to attune to the staff, and he just... Keeps on walking and walks out. Nothing happens to him, and he's just walking out, giggling to himself, really happy about that. Cool, you guys. Yeah, a very yeah. powerful enemy down the road. Hey, welcome yeah. back, Amnon. Um, you, Amnon, gets super happy about two super awesome staffs, and <laughs> he loses them every time. So mm -hmm. sad. It was such a beautiful staff, man. I know that one was cool. Yeah, he could do ice storm, wall of ice, cone of cold. No problem. I would have keep, keep, let him keep the damn amulet and keep the staff. He damage. keeps trying to steal things and murder hobo everybody. <laughs> That's not a problem. Yeah, but no, now like, I, I, it's not a problem now. Exactly. At some point, we're gonna be doing something, and he's gonna try to steal your shit in your sleep, and. No. I'm just going to steal it back. Steal, just, I'm going to steal your stuff as you try to hack your way through a wall of ice that I created with this cool staff. 
Mm-hmm. All right. He already had a plan. Yeah. How yeah. late are we going? Um, we we just finished about two hours. So you guys want to keep going or? Uh... I want to I want to identify this amulet to see what the hell it is. Okay. Uh, let me see. There's no handout. Oh, for also, it. I found this wand. Um, I don't know if anyone saw me take it, but I found this wand on this other guy. It's a wand of secrets, and it allows me to find secrets. Oh uh, yeah. Do you have to be a two now you're to not a wand to use it? To, he, uh, no, you yeah. don't. Not for a wand. Okay. While I identify this, someone can use this wand to see if there's any secrets in this room. Okay. Cool. You can do that. Um, so you use, um, actually, you want to did, share did, the did you add it, did you add it to your, um, to I your... added, uh, yeah, I added everything to my character sheet, but I'll get rid of this thingy. Okay. Uh, so wand of magic detection, one was used, one charge and wand of secrets, one charge was also used. Um, uh, yeah, if, if I did end up using it in this room, I don't know if I did. Well, you just gave it to them, telling them to use it okay, while you yeah, attu- okay, uh, while yeah, you uh, yeah. identify, right? So yeah, I assume I, I that marked it you gets on the used. use of the wand detection, yeah, the magic detection, yeah. yeah, but not the other one. Okay, cool. So you do that. Um, they they enable the wand of secrets. Let me see. Um, well, hold it in it. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't shared it with everybody else. So let me let me do that. It only has a limited number of charges. I'm not gonna like willy nilly just start. Like popping it all over. Oh, it's, yeah, it has three, mean, it charges three charges that it basically gets uh, back every morning, and um, it tells you if there's a secret door or, or a trap or anything within thirty feet of you. Um, I love you at last. It was just like instant. It's instant, yeah. Okay. Um, so you activate it, and there doesn't seem to be any secrets or traps. Oh around here, uh, at least not in a 30 feet radius. Um, you identify the amulet. I don't have a handout for it. Uh, let me, actually, let me see if there is a handout. No, there is no handout. Um, hmm, that's going to be interesting. Uh, What's the call? Tell us what it does. I don't know if I can tell you what it does. Um, I can tell you. Just give me one second. I'm scrambling a little bit. Um, so it's, he would know what it does. He would know if it has any magical properties or what its functionality is. Yeah, I know. Uh, it. Uh, uh, can you print the identify spell exactly? Because it it tells you yeah. specific things. Yeah. One second. Okay. Uh, it is a magical item. Its properties and how to use them. It requires attunement. It doesn't require attunement. It doesn't have any charges. Uh, no spells are affecting it. The item was created using magic, but not a specific spell. Well, what about how to use it? Yeah. Like, it's that, properties to how to use yeah, it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to go back to. Um, you know that it was created with magic, not by a spell, but it's magic that is somehow related to constructs. How to use it, um, its properties is that it seems to, to link you to something, and... To use it, all you need to do is have it on your person. You don't know what it links you to. Uh, you know that it's it's a beneficial item. Okay, I'm going to give you that so you don't worry about that. Um, but for now, that's what I'm going to give you uh, in terms of information. Okay. Put it on and go and think to yourself, come to me. <laughs> Uh, if he was able that. to do that, it would be part of how to use it. Um, oh. Wait. Ooh, wait, no. 
I'm not saying it's going to do anything. Oh, yes. Actually, you can telepathically... <laughs> You're right, actually. Um, if whatever it is linked to is on the same plane of existence, the amulet wearer can telepathically call it to travel to it, and it will know the distance and direction to the amulet. So, yeah, sure. You can actually do that. <laughs> okay. I'll do exactly that. I'll put it on and call wherever it is. To. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully it's not Strahd or something. It's going to drag the entire dungeon to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So you hear... I don't quite understand what this thing is. It's, it's, an an, amulet. it's an amulet that allows him to communicate and control some sort of construct. Yeah. All right. So, uh, do a perception check for me, Ozzy and Amnon, for fun. No, jeez. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> um, and Ozzy. Well, okay. You, you guys have no idea. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> What about other people's passive perception? Uh, that's a good point. Esmeralda, with her passive, is going to frown and then put a hand on the ground and say, I hear, I feel like something is just below us is moving, something heavy. And, um, and then, after a little bit of time, we aggroed the entire dungeon. <laughs> this pet is just like, gong, 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 gong. It's like, <laughs> you hear something moving up those stairs. And getting is close. Like the goblins in, in the Lord of the Rings? Or... And getting close. And the door opens. And this huge thing appears. Oh, jeez. That's awesome. It looks just like that, people. Oh, shit! Oh, man. It yeah, arrives. It's 22.0. It's, 22 it's a gun, damn. It's Tony motherfucking Stark. <laughs> I'm going to tell him to stop before he tramples us. Okay, he arrives just in front of you. And as as he gets closer, actually, because uh, I, I I don't know, I, I think those who wrote this thing didn't think about identify, because you're not really supposed to know what it does until you get close to it, and it starts to thrum and vibrate when you get within 10 feet of it. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, but here's what it says. This is a shield garden. It is bound. Um... Uh, actually, let me let me actually give you uh, full access to its. Um, oh boy! To I its... think that's better than a, a stick that curses you. Yeah, maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I'm be. gonna give it to everybody because eh, it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, shield guardian, and then I'm gonna move his token. Uh, well, you, if you double click on him, you should be able to see its character sheet, technically with all of its things. I don't know if it's all correct, but I'll just read... Uh, oh, jeez. I'll, I'll just read to you what it 142 does. 142 health? Oh, yeah. It has 142 health. The shield guardian is magically bound to an amulet. As long as the guardian and its amulet are on the same plane of existence, the amulet wearer can telepathically call the guardian to travel to it, and the guardian knows the distance and direction to the amulet. If the guardian is within 60 feet of the amulet wearer, half of any damage the wearer takes, rounded up, is transferred to the guardian. The shield guardian regains 10 hit points at the start of its turns, if it has at least one hit point. Spell storing. A spellcaster who wears the shield guardian's amulet can cause the guardian to store one spell of fourth level or lower. To do so, the wearer must cast the spell on the guardian. The spell has no effect, but is stored within the guardian. When commanded to do so by the wearer, or when a situation arises that was de predefined by the spellcaster, the guardian casts the stored spell with any parameters set by the original caster, requiring no components. When the spell is cast or a new spell is stored, any previously stored spell is lost. 
which means that you just got with the, you know, your spells regenerating after short rest, you can get at least a fourth level spell extra sp stored into the Shield Guardian. You're, you just got super beefy oh because your HP gets shared uh, with him. He has 142 hit points, which also gets regenerated 10 hit points every turn. And he can make two fist attacks, plus seven to hit. Oh, he has a reaction. When a creature makes an attack against the wearer of the Guardian's amulet, the Guardian gets, grants a plus two bonus to the wearer's AC if the Guardian is within five feet of the wearer. And you also got a plus two to your AC. Oh my god, this is the most amazing day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys were so lucky Vilnius did not know what that amulet did. <laughs> yeah, really. Holy shit, we would have been... We would have been screwed if he tried to attack us. With... Yeah. Oh and by God, the way, it's amazing. worth a thousand gold pieces if you were to sell it. I don't know if you want I'm to sell it. I'm never selling this. this is... <laughs> yeah. Is he big enough that I can, like, crawl on his back and, like, ride him around? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. It's not a mech. Yes, but he is. That is my mech. That is one super awesome magical item that you saw with your detect magic and then you managed to get from Vilnius. Yeah, was, and the book says if Vilnius seven. knew what it did, he would never get, uh, part with it. So um, cool that you didn't uh, like spill oh, wow. the beans and you got him out yeah. before you identified it. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. This is, this, this is great. Dude. Yeah, Gundam is an ally, dude. <laughs> yeah, a, a little better than Tony Stark. Yeah, I'll take this over the staff for sure. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, it, it's it was not a bad trade, I tell you. Yeah, not a Pretty bad good. trade. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you smiling. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all I are smiling. Am. I'm super happy about this too. Yeah, this is perfect. But I didn't expect to get him out so soon because I thought that because he was downstairs and I thought that you wouldn't. You know, I, I hadn't noticed the you can telepathically call him to. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's perfect. Well, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is a pretty good high note, I think, to end it on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I agree. And congratulations. Congrats, the, man. The Thank temple you. is Thank hard, you. but it, okay. it is very fruitful. And Tahanu's yeah. gonna go punch himself in the face a bunch of times because <laughs> he doesn't get stuff again. Wait, Tahanu, I have Not something that is sunlight based just for you. <laughs> Can we cast sunlight on it, on its head? It's a, it's just a yeah, walking glow, beacon glowing of beacon. sunlight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, congrats, man. I have a question, though. Yeah. If, if, if it's a fourth level spell. Mm hmm. Does that mean that at, at the point, like, if he casts an actual fourth level spell, mm -hmm. it, it is treated as a level spell for him, right? It's what? It's treated as a sixth level spell for fifth. him. All my, all my spells are fifth. Oh, all they're all spells. fifth. Yeah. So then, so does it, if he casts a fifth level spell on it, what happens to that spell? Uh, does it downgrade to four? I, I would downgrade it. I would just. There's also it to there's a four. few of my spells that are like locked at fourth level. Like there's a few of mine. Like all my spell lots spells are cast as fifth level, but there are some that don't get better. Yeah. When they get scaled up. Yeah. So they're fourth level. Yeah. I mean it. it it's just it uses a fifth level spell slot, even though it, it would be like a fourth level spell. Okay. No, I was just curious. But I can give him one, and then short rest, and then I'll have two, and then he'll have the one. Yeah. Exactly. So. You basically got thirty three percent better, yeah. And yeah, just plus, your spell casting, and then your health. You are now beefier than me, yeah. By a and, lot. and he can, and this guy will also deal much damage too. So, yeah. How much does it say? What his? Uh, I, I I was looking at his character sheet, but I couldn't see anything for his actual attacks. Uh, his attacks. He has two attacks. Um, with his fists, it's plus seven to hit. And it deals 2d6 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> that seems great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
And I'm going to guess that you guys will want to rest here and just yeah. play with the shield guardian dance a yeah, little. Yeah, we're going to come back into this room and we're going to take a long rest so that next week we start all new. Um, um, what are these What are these benches made of here? Uh, good question. Let me check what it said here. Um, red marble benches. Oh, okay. Jeez. Yeah. All right. I think it's too early for a long rest. Uh, you guys got beat up pretty bad, but it's still. I mean, it's not morning, but it's like let's say it's kind of noon. Uh, you, you just got through your resources really fast and got into bad situations, but it's not late enough for you to have an actual long rest. I'm doing fine. I have like all my all my things. Yeah, he's like he has like his whole 250 HP left. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, you are low on spells. I think that's the biggest issue because uh, I think you can heal yourselves and. Short I got my spells stuff. back, so. Yeah, you. But I uh, I'm mostly thinking about Iron. Uh, I, I, Ozzy, you used your um, lay on hands. Uh, yeah, I have no more lay on hands. I have. Uh, I'm running very low on resources. Yeah, spells you haven't used much. I think though. So you're still okay on spells, but I think Iron used a lot of her spells for healing uh, lately. So yeah, so that that's where you guys are a little um, more uh, like the the bottleneck or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, you'll have to deal with it because um, I mean you can't just get barely. Barely into the difficult parts and then long rest it. So let, let's see if next week you can push through with these resources. If needed, you can just run and then waste the day. Retreat back to the, to the camp, the first camp. Um, you, you can. You know it's a safe area. You also know that Vilnius spent a few days here safely. So um, your oh, choice. True, yeah. yeah. But you, you can decide where you guys want to go. Uh, for your rest, uh, but it, it would be a short rest, not a long rest. All right. Cool. Cool. Congrats. Super happy Thanks. about that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Hey, good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, and Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. And for those watching on um, Twitch, thanks for watching. This was a lot of fun. And I hope to see you guys next week for um, the continuation of what happens here in the Ember Temple. Uh, so thanks and good night. Yo. Because